Well, the minister speaking earlier today, Liz McDade, is the strategic lead at the Green Connection. Liz, good afternoon to you. Do we need a new state petroleum company, put all of the fossil fuel companies essentially into one? Well, it's a bit strange because what it appears that the minister is focusing on is taking us backwards down the fossil fuel route. This is not a new idea. It's been going for years, an attempt to get this company going. Uh, it's also a little confusing uh, to talk about it uh, being an asset because I think at the moment it's got 11 to 12, maybe 14 billion liability uh, due to some cleaning up and rehab costs from the Project Equesi, which was a couple of years ago. So it's definitely not um, something that the government should be <laughs> really putting our scarce resources in right now. Clean it up, fix, fix the liability, and get on with energy planning. Because what we are seeing is energy planning falling behind, but it seems that DMRE is just railroading ahead with fossil fuels instead of moving us away from fossil fuels as per our climate change targets. So, I mean, I accept that as a society we are moving away, over fossil, uh, away from fossil fuels. It seems to me, though, that we are going to have a need for fuel, petrol and diesel, as we currently know them, for quite a long time to come. Um, and that government does need to coordinate that. You need refineries, you need a value chain, you need petrol price uh, setting. All of these things actually need to be managed quite quickly. Um, it's tempting to say that we don't need that, but I think that we do. If we do need all of those things, doesn't it make sense to have one entity that does all of that? Well, the whole thing is, let's get the plan first. Before we start, you and I can sit around and go, okay, do we need, how much do we need? How fast is electrification going to work for cars? What is the hydro role of the green hydrogen? But what we need is a plan that puts all those facts into a, into a one model and pulls out scenarios and says, okay, guys, so if we want to go this way, we need a refinery. Uh, if we want to go this way, maybe we're going to import. You know, what's more expensive? What's better for the economy? Where should we put our scarce resources? But we are sitting with and an, an, um, an entity which is effectively bankrupt, um, and now we want to revitalize it when we already have enough private oil and gas um, companies. So do we need a state one? I'm, I'm not convinced. Okay. Um, so I suppose then, what else would we do if we didn't have a state one? And Liz, I mean, the argument about privatization, you know, politically, is a very <laughs> big argument. Um, any kind of change in the oil and gas and the sort of petroleum products pipeline can be very, very difficult to manage. So I suppose if we didn't have this system, if we didn't have government, a government company of some kind playing this role, what would then happen? I am not the oracle on this one. I think we would need to, to, to look at where, where we are going, what our transition path is, and therefore on that basis we would figure out what refineries we need and therefore which partners we need to bring in to bring them up and down. I, I don't think it's an automatic government come in, rescue a, a really what I think is going to be an expensive entity to build back up. It hasn't been operating for a while. Um, there's talks of, of uh, fuel leaks in the pipelines. Uh, there's a whole, as I said, a 14 billion rehabilitation liability. Um, shouldn't we fix all those things first? at the same time plan and see, you know, are we going to pour more bad money after good? Or is there really a, firstly, a need and secondly, a business case? Because otherwise, all we're going to find is more and more government money getting sucked into these um, SOEs that are not functional. Yes, I totally agree we need SOEs, but in areas where we are going forward, not backwards. Liz McDade, thank you. Strategic lead at the Green Connection. Do appreciate the time.